Dear students, I hope you all are doing well. This is your math teacher Shweta Bajaj. Students, please subscribe my channel if not subscribed yet. Don't forget to mark yourself as present by writing your name, class, and section in the comment box. Now, students, we were doing our chapter number four, integers. And in the previous video, we learnt about the rules for division of integers and the properties of division of integers, in which we learnt that closure, commutative, and associative property does not hold. Then we learnt that on dividing any integer by itself, we will get one as our answer then we learn that on dividing any integer by 1 we will get integer itself and in the last we learn that on dividing 0 by any integer we will get 0 but we cannot divide any integer by 0 if we will do so we will get our answer as not defined hopefully it is clear to you Now students, in our today's video, we are going to start with our exercise 4D. So let's start. Now students, firstly I have taken question number 1. Find the product fourth part. And the fourth part says minus 12 multiply by minus 18 multiply by 7. Now since there are 3 integers, so we will take 2 integers in a bracket. And these 2 integers I have taken as minus 12 multiply by minus 18. Now students, in the next step we will solve this bracket. On solving this bracket, we will get 216. Now 216 multiply by 7 will give us 1512 as in answer hopefully fourth part is clear to you now next i have taken is ninth part of the same question and in ninth part we are having four integers that is minus 2 multiply by 3 multiply by minus 5 multiply by minus 4 now students Firstly, I will take the group of 2, 2 integers in a bracket. And in the first bracket, I have taken minus 2 multiplied by minus 5. And in the second bracket, I have taken 3 multiplied by minus 4. Now, on solving this first bracket, I will get 10 as the answer. And on solving the second bracket, I will get minus 12 as an answer. Now, in the next step, I will multiply 10 and minus 12. And on multiplying them, I will get minus 1. 120 as in answer. Hopefully, ninth part is also clear to you. Now, next I have taken is question number 3 and question number 3 says that divide the first number by the second number and write the quotient and the remainder and the first part is minus 105 comma 20. Now, students, what we will do? Firstly, we will divide 105 by 20. Now, on dividing 105 by 20, we will get 5 as a quotient and 5 as a remainder. Now, students, see... We have to divide minus 105 by 20. So this means one integer is negative and other is positive. So according to the rules, our answer will comes out to be negative. So this means quotient and that negative sign we will give to the quotient, not the remainder. Please be careful. So quotient will be minus 5 and remainder will be 5. Hopefully first part is clear to you. Now students, next I have taken is second part and in the second part we are having minus 1236 comma minus 8. So students, what we will do? Firstly, we will divide this 1236 by 8 and on dividing them, we will get 154 as a quotient and 4 as a remainder. Now students, what we have to do? We have to divide minus 1236 by minus 8. Yes, so that means according to the rules our answer will comes out to be the positive one. That means that answer is quotient. Quotient will comes out to be positive 154 and remainder is equals to 4. Hopefully second part is also clear to you.
Now students, next I have taken is third part and in third part we are having 20,156 comma minus 35. So students, we will simply divide 20,156 by 35 on dividing them. What we will get? We will get 575 as a quotient and 31 as a remainder. Now students, on dividing 20,156 by minus 35 we will get our quotient in negative means quotient as minus 575 according to the rules and remainder as 31 only hopefully it is also clear to you now students next i have taken is question number six and question number six says that the product of five numbers is minus 77760 if four of these numbers are minus 6, minus 9, minus 12 and minus 15, find the fifth number. So students, in this question, what we will do? Firstly, we will let or we will take the fifth number as A. Then according to the question, minus 6 multiplied by minus 9 multiplied by minus 12 multiplied by minus 15 multiplied by A is equals to minus 77,760. Now students, here are four numbers or four integers so in the next step I will make the group of two two integers each and in the first bracket I have taken minus 6 multiplied by minus 9 multiply by in the second bracket I have taken minus 12 multiply by minus 15 multiply by a is equals to minus 77760 now students in the next step we will solve the first bracket and on solving the first bracket we will get 54 multiply by on solving the second bracket we will get 180 multiply by a is equals to minus 77760 now students in the next step i have multiplied 54 and 180 and on multiplying them i have got 9720 then this multiply sign as it is a is equals to minus 77760. Now students here 9720 is multiplied in the LHS. So on shifting it towards the RHS, on shifting it, it will divide. And you will learn about this in more detail in your algebra chapter. Okay. Now students on dividing minus 77760 by 9720 we will get minus 8 as in answer therefore fifth number is minus 8 hopefully it is clear to you now students next i have taken is question number 7 and question number 7 says that when a certain number is divided by minus 15 the quotient is 23 and the remainder is 0 find the number so students in the solution we will take or we will let the certain number as a that means dividend is equals to a and in the question divisor is given us that is minus 15 quotient is equals to 23 and remainder is equals to 0 now students according to your division algorithm you know that dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder so students in the next step we will put the values value of dividend is a value of divisor is minus 15 this multiply sign as it is quotient is 23 plus sign as it is and the remainder is 0 now students in the next step what we will do this a as it is is equal to sign as it is minus 15 multiplied by 23 will gives us minus 345 plus as it is 0 as it is and in the next step we will get a as minus 340 Five. That means the number is that is dividend is minus 345. Hopefully it is clear to you. Now students with this our exercise 4D is over and now pause your video and note on your home task and in your home task I have given you some parts from question number 1, some parts from question number 3 and some parts from question number 4. For any doubts and queries, you can leave your message in the comment section. I hope you like the video. Thank you.